Hey all viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist and welcome back to Wrong World. This is episode 34 now, if I'm not mistaken. So, remember of course in the last episode we've made a start on building our spaceship. We also had a bit of an experiment. We uh, decided to try out having Grandalf abducted by the aliens here. And um, he's come out looking a little worse for wear. Shaved and with his eyes in a bit of a random location. I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be like that. But, now... You see, see, the thing was, I was a bit confused, sort of, in the last episode, as you remember. So, my probe up there just doesn't seem to be flying anywhere else. Don't know why, it just doesn't seem to be. And, um, I still have one thing that I need to find for this friggin' spaceship, that I need something stretchy. Now, I was looking on Steam, so I decided to consult, see if there were any guides, anything like that. And I found a uh, thread on the Wrong World Steam community of someone who was asking, well, what, where do I go to find this stretchy thing? And Jamie had left a comment in response to that person, basically giving them a clue, saying that what they're looking for, for the stretchy thing, if I'm understood this correctly, is an altar of some kind with a sign that's got some meat on it or something like that. At least that's what I think is the correct thing to be looking for. Now according to... Ooh! Jesus, you guys. Well, I mean, <laughs> I could try taking some of you assholes out. Oh, lordy. Lordy Lou. I'm doing lots of damage to these people. Get out of it. Get out. Get out. Come on. Don't want your rituals in here. Jeez. What a bloody palaver that was. Let me neck. <laughs> I don't think that's the first time, is it, that I've ever had the tree ritual. Oh, oh, look at that. I got all that wood out there. That's nice. Yeah, so various beasts in this game do have their own kind of weird rituals. We've seen a couple of them before. Obviously, I think we've seen the log one before with the tree monsters. We've seen the yeti one before, early on in the series, <laughs> that freaking annihilated me. Yes, yeah, so you remember that, don't you, everybody? Let's just uh, plant these acorns of mine, because I don't really need to be carrying these around in my inventory at all. Plus, we can get some uh, free rocks and stuff out of it, which is pretty good. Uh, put that there. And I think there's one more. Yeah, there we are. Lovely. Good stuff. Nice. Okay, so... Right, what was I talking about um, a moment ago? I was talking about the rituals, wasn't I? And before that I was talking about the altar thing that I need to find. Yeah, one thing I think we haven't seen ritual-wise is... Do the rock beasts, do they have a ritual of their own? And does that do anything? I don't know. Oh, well, it probably does do something, but what does it do? That's more the question I uh, find particularly interesting. Okay, now... In reference to the altars, I think, if I remember correctly from what Sludge Games said on the Steam thread that I was mentioning before, the altar can spawn anywhere, but typically spawns fairly high up, so perhaps the best way to go about looking for it is to get up somewhere high, and then maybe equip your jetpack, fly up in the air a little bit, and just survey the landscape and see if you can identify anything that looks basically out of the ordinary. Anything like that. Now, I think there's something over there on that hill, but I'm not sure. So we're going to go and check this out. I still don't know what the deal is with the meteors. You know, because clearly they're interactable. You can interact with them, apparently, but I don't know how, because obviously it just comes up saying, oh, they're too hot, you can't interact with it, and all that. Eat some of my uh, potatoid fries. Go on, Boxy. We're going on our adventure today. We're going to just take a look around the landscape. So, my assumption is that there must surely be something that I'm missing in this world. Something that I've not seen in my explorations so far. Because you'd think that an altar, certainly one with a sign with a bit of meat above it, would be fairly obvious, right? You'd think there'd be no way you could miss that, but... I don't know, apparently there is. If you're me, basically. <laughs> okay, uh, Boxy, hold on to these, please. Right, we need to get up onto there. Onto that little hill. Because that, I think, is where the good stuff lies. Oh, no, I'm not going to pick up the rooms. I've got so many of them at home. Um, what I need to do... 
is get up on top of this hill. Um, I could do that, obviously, with my jetpack, couldn't I? So, if I quit that, and up we go. Right, we're up here. Boxy, come on up. Now, was there something up here? Did I actually see something? Oh. Now, this just looks like one of those ruined little buildings. Oh, there's barrels up here, though. What the hell? Huh. I suppose this is why it's always helpful to explore the hills. I guess. Come on. No, don't roll off the edge, please. Ooh. I mean, there's an axe, which, let's be honest, I don't freaking need, but I'll pick it up anyway. Okay, my inventory's full. Uh, put that away. Hold on to the oars, please, and the coal. Because I don't really want to be holding on to this. You can hold on to the leather as well, actually. You do that there, Boxy. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, so there's... Ooh, hello there. Well, you might have mysterious goop on you, mightn't you? Might as well kill you. Gotcha. There we go. Nice. Boxy, hold on to these, please. It's always useful getting uh, goop. Just because, of course, you know, you can use it for various things. Now, if there's nothing up here, is there something across on that hill, do you reckon? Guess we'll go and check it out, I think. And the thing is, Boxy's obviously got the leather, so if we need to put down a flag, we can always do so. Oh, I shouldn't need my jet... Oh, right, having said that, <laughs> I was going to say they shouldn't need a jetpack to get up, but apparently it does. Right, let's go. Well, there's another barrel. There'll be another barrel out here, but I uh, don't see any altar. Hmm. Well, even if we don't make, you know, too much progress this episode, it'll still be interesting, I guess. See, I'm getting lots of stuff out of this. Inventory's full, of course it is. Uh, dump those. There we go. Uh, is there anything else I can put in our inventory box here? Uh, I don't need a fucking Oxalis. What am I doing with that? And I don't need this bloody shovel either, do I? Yeah, there's nothing, nothing particularly interesting there then. Hmm. Yes. Okay, moving on. Uh, so... I've just got to look hard. That's all. I've got to, I've got to examine the environment. That's what I've got to do here. And just look very, very carefully. And see if there's anything at all that looks even slightly out of the ordinary. Hey, what's that down there? Wait, 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 hey, wait, 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 wait. Is that just a rock down there, or is that... See what I'm looking at over there? That looks a bit weird and straight, doesn't it? Huh. Wait a second, what's this? Oh no, it's just a rock. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought it looked a bit weird. From the angle I was looking at it from. I thought maybe it would be a friggin... You know, an actual altar or something. But no, it wasn't. See, all I've got to go on here is that this altar, is, it should be instantly recognisable. Once we see it, we'll know it's something significant. And when we do find it... Well, what I'm going on is the idea that basically it's, um, it's up on high areas. Anything? Anything at all, or...? Hmm... Maybe I need to, um, get my jetpack out and just hover in the air and see if I can identify anything that looks weird. Okay, let's do it. Do you guys see anything at all? God, I mean, it could be miles away. I'm just not able to see it, but I don't know. Okay, just... There we go. That's the snooper... snooper? Super... Good way to avoid being stunned on impact. Keep pressing the space bar so that Boxy, not Boxy, Grandad, I keep confusing their names. So he goes into a super, super, super ninja roll. Okay, let's just try that again. What do we see, anything at all, that looks out of the ordinary? I'm, I don't see anything. Okay, Boxy, we're on the move again, please. We're going off in this direction, because at this stage I really have no idea where else to go. Still not sure what I'm looking for, but... Hmm... Uh, I don't know... The thing is, I'm pretty sure that 
this thing that I'm looking for has definitely been programmed into the game. Because, you know, people have been talking about it on the Steam forums and things like that. So, it's definitely in-game. There's definitely a way to find this. It's just the question is, where is it? That's, that's the only thing. Um, there's a rock monster over there. Uh, yeah. Does anybody see anything out in this wilderness? Anything that just looks suspicious or completely out of place? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's jump across to here. There's another barrel here. Let's see if I can... Oh, careful, Boxy. Ooh, that's gone flying. Jesus. Come back here. <laughs> Ooh, stop it. Ooh, what the hell? Oh no, not nuclear gremlins. I don't want to deal with gremlins. Stop it. I fucking hate the nuclear gremlins. They're annoying as shit. Oh, they've got various bits and bobs in there. Get out of here. Fucking assholes, aren't they? No, I don't want to lock onto him. I want to lock onto this guy. Ooh, sorry, Boxy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't really uh, stand near me when I'm flying around with this thing in my hands. Okay, they're attacking. Get out, you bastard. Okay, he's down. Take out this one. Go on, fire. That's it. Ooh. If I can dematerialise like a bastard. Ooh. Is there just two of them? I think there is just two of them. Oh, we decided to be a bitch about it. They're a bit annoying, these guys are, sometimes. Now, he's actually doing me damage here. I need to be careful. Okay, that's just this one left now, isn't it? Okay, he's dead. Bloody loo. Such assholes, those guys. <laughs> Flipping heck. I need to uh, eat something, because my health's really uh, dipping down quite substantially. Uh, mushroom stew. There we are. Uh, what else? I'll take the acid, actually. Ooh, uh, is it worth taking the uranium? Probably not. Let's be honest. Uh, I didn't want an amphurium. I'll take the meat, though, actually. Because um, the meat's always helpful. Oh, bloody hell, my phone's ringing. One second, everybody. And I'm back. Here we are. Okay, right. Let's uh, keep on the move again. Um, where did I come from? I've completely fucking screwed my camera angles up. You see, there's a flag up here. Why did I put a flag up here? Oh, hello there. How are you doing? Just fucking get out of here, you bastard. <laughs> there we are. Get all the resources. Okay, hold on to that, please, Boxy. There you go. Right, let's, um... Ooh. That, a uh, Ruined wall. Hmm. All these weird little ruins around every so often. It's very strange. So we go up here. Oh god, there's another of these assholes. God, die. There we are. Got him. Right. Boxy, up you come, bud. So did I just put this up here because it's a high location, or...? Oh, I must have done. Okay. So, where am I going? What am I looking for? It's got to be around. There's my base off in that direction. Hmm. See, would it be... Would it be near the hatch? I don't know. You know, the hatch where we went down to get to Henry Hoover. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about anything. Um. Where else can we go? Let's go in this direction, then. If that's the case. Uh... Bloody. See, this is... This is uh, quite cryptic, this, isn't it? So... Jamie, developer, of course, if I am doing anything wrong here, feel free to let me know in the comments. Someone is friggin' going up and down outside my flat on a moped or a motorcycle or something. I can hear it just growling away in the background. There's another flag over here, but... What did I mark out over here? You see, I've, I've thrown down so many flags over the course of my playthrough, and I can't even remember what some of them went to. Is that to a phone box? It is, by the looks of it. Yes. Okay, um... little campfire there of mine. Yeah, that's to a phone box. Do I still have the phone numbers? Well, actually, it wouldn't even matter, would it? Because you need a coin to activate the phone boxes. 
<sighs> we need to get up high again. That's what we need to do, ladies and gents. We need to get up high, survey the landscape once more, and just try and see what the deal is. Okay, uh, go up here. Ooh, careful. Get jetpack, please. There we are. Up we go. Come, Boxy, up you come. Up you come, old boy. Right, we're on high ground again, up here. Does anybody see anything? I hope the altar... I just, I'm just thinking. You remember the Eye of Sauron? Remember that thing? I'm hoping that's not the altar that I'm supposed to be searching for here. Okay, jet back on. Survey the landscape once more. Still don't see anything. Oh god, what? I really don't know. Hmm. Let's get on the move again. We'll go this way. Really don't see much. Down. And across the desert. Right. Man, this uh, <laughs> must be some real riveting footage for all you viewers out there. There's got to be an area I've not explored here. Because I do feel like I've been nearly everywhere on this island. Does anybody see anything? Anything at all? Anything that just looks weird? That doesn't look like it belongs? Whoa, hello, you don't belong, for a start. Get out, get out of here. Uh, I don't, I'm not bothering with uranium, am I? No. Anything. It says it should be an altar with a sign with a piece of meat. But so far, I don't think I've seen anything of that kind. At least that's the hint that um, Jamie's reply to that guy on Steam community stated. Hmm. I don't know about this. I don't know about the seer. I'm just going to have to keep exploring. It's my West Country voice. Probably doesn't even sound like a West Country person. Okay. There's an Easter Island head over there. I'm just going to pay it a visit. Just for the sake of, you know, doing that. Because I can. And because right now I haven't really got much else going on for me. Except that guy outside my freaking flat who keeps charging up and down on his fucking motorbike. Where's a bloody shotgun when you need one? Actually, I should say no. The famous saying, the things you see when you don't have a gun to hand. Or here, rather. Because I'm not actually seeing him. My curtains are all closed. I'm just listening to the sound of his engine roaring away in the background. Easter Island Head, do you have anything you want to say? Are you going to attack me? Can I have a fight with you? Anything at all? Hmm. Hmm. I stand here. No, you're not going to do anything, are you? Huh, okay. Right, let's keep moving. Keep looking around. We'll go up onto this hill over here. Let's take a look at what the deal is. In fact, if that's a double flag up there, and that's near the hatch. Can we go back down to where Henry Hoover is, or...? What? Is that possible? Do you reckon? I doubt it, but you never know. Oh god. Don't want to go in the water, really. Go on, Moxie. Move around this way. Oh, what's this? There's a slug cave. Hello. Let's just have a quick look. Because we can. I mean, there's not... As far as I'm aware, really anything in these caves left for me to find, but... Yeah, fuck it, I'm not wasting time down here. Finish with the cave, thanks. There we go. Um, this way. Is this there? To glory. God. I don't know if you guys are hearing that out there. There's a fucking random-ass gremlin over here. Yeah. Look at this asshole. 
<laughs> he's dead now. <laughs> Ownage. Annihilated. Let's just go back over this way, because I literally have... At this, at this point, I have no other idea. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm looking for. Hmm. But if I can go back down into Henry Hoover's lair... I doubt it, but... Hmm. Who knows? Maybe I can go and kill him again. But see, he's definitely still coming for me. Yeah, see, here it is. Is it possible to go down inside again? Apparently it is. You've already overcome this challenge, but you can do it again if you want. Which just says, mm, there's not much point then, is there? Okay. Um, so would, would this altar spawn near here, or would it... I don't think there's any point, though. Keep on the move. Keep it coming. Um, into this hill over here. Um, I still have no idea. Switch to jetpack. Here we go. You see anything? No. Um, okay, well, I still don't really have any idea. Damn it, I freaking <laughs> face planted. Bloody snakes. What gits they are, seriously. Come on, let's go this way. Oh, man. There's another location marked out over there. Um, the thing is, a lot of these locations I've marked out are places that I've already been, I've already explored them. And usually they're just marking out random little features of the terrain. So telephone boxes, maybe wishing wells, things like that. Things which, you know, I've already explored before and I already know how they work. I'm going towards stakes, stakes, snakes here. Um. Oh god, where... Where the heck is it? <laughs> where is this thing that I'm looking for? I don't know where it is. I don't even know if it's actually generated. I'm just assuming it has, but... I have no idea. In all honesty. Hmm. Let me go up on this hill. Get my jetpack out and uh, do that again. There we go. Up. Up, 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 please, Grandalf. There we go. This is another bloody telephone box up here. Hmm. Anything at all? Please, give me something. This is another of these weird plants which you can uh, use your bloody watering can on, but I haven't got the watering can on me. Besides, I'm pretty sure they only just give you stuff which I've already had before. Um, okay, well, I really don't know. That is the issue, isn't it? Not seeing anything. Let's fly up again. Nothing down on the shoreline, or...? Hmm. No. No, 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 no. There's a lot of yetis around here, though. Friggin' hell. That is a lot of them. Right, well... Mm, can't say we've made a huge amount of progress this episode, but... Whatever. All we can really do is just keep exploring, I think. Just looking and searching to see if there's anything, but... I don't see anything. Um... Boxy, I'm going to put my cardboard box back on my head. Okay, well, tell you what. Wait, wait a minute. What's that down there? What is that down there? Hello? What is that? It's like an upright rock or something. Is that just a tree stump or something? I'm going to hold up. Wait, what? Wait, what is this thing? Do anything with this? Not by the looks of it, I can't. Hmm. It doesn't seem to do anything, does it? 
weird. Okay. Um, strange. I am not 100% sure. I don't know. Um, let's go up here and uh, get my jet back on and then maybe put another flag down or something. Just so I can mark out that, that thing's down there. In case, I, in case, you know, it turns out to be significant. And I can go and do something with it. There you are, Boxy. You've got the leather, haven't you? Yes, you have. There we go. Yes, indeed. Um, flagpole. Here we are. Let's put one up here on the high ground where it can be seen for miles around. Oh, God. Grandalf is actually getting kind of hungry. I'm sorry, Grandalf. There you go. Oop. Who? Is that one of the freaking yetis? Oh, okay. Don't go over the edge there. Um, let's see now. Does anybody see anything at all? I still don't see anything that looks remarkable. Oh, God dang it! Urgh, I don't know what I'm looking for. It's got to be out there somewhere. My probe's just not getting me towards it at all. But yeah. Okay. Fully charged. Levitate up again. Maybe by the looks of it, there's more ruins down there, but they're not helpful to me. Because I've investigated those already. Um, okay, well... Oh god, Jesus. <laughs> Hi over there. How are you doing? <laughs> Yeti man. Let's just go up onto this hill over here. And then I think we'll start wrapping this episode up. Because in all honesty, I'm not really making much progress here. And I think I'm probably going to need some assistance in some regard. In order to... F oh, God. Durr. Fell down. Ow. Bloody hell, Grandalf. You yeah, bugger. Okay. Run, uh, Boxy, are you coming to join me? Yeah, you are. You are. That's good. Okay. Now, you see, these are the sort of hills here where I originally took down the Eye of Sauron and all that. Which, of course, is, um, interesting. I hope it wasn't the Eye of Sauron that was the thing that I'm looking for, because I haven't had one spawn in a long, long while. Ah, <sighs> no. No, no, I don't see anything. Okay, well, I think we'll wrap this episode up here, then. So, it's episode 34 of Wrong World with me, General Red Strategist. We went for a good explore, but... I don't know. I'm not seeing this thing that I'm supposed to be looking for anywhere. All I've, all I've got to go on, like I said earlier, is what I read on that Steam Community Post thread where Sludge Games was talking to a person who was asking where do I find the stretchy piece and all that. So, I guess we can just keep looking and eventually we'll find it, but it's a pretty big island. And we're going to be here a while, I do think. Maybe I'll just need to explore in my own time, perhaps. And I don't know what the deal is with my pro, but it just doesn't seem to be taking off. Which is a bit of an issue, but, yeah. Okay, well, if you're not doing so already, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description, as always. If you're also interested in seeing me uh, do anime-related content, go check out my General Red Propagandist channel. Link also in the video description. But in the meantime, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, shit! Okay, that's an interesting flag. That's, um... The rising sun combined with the stars and stripes. Hang on, so is this country like a fusion of America and Japan? How interesting. Yes, well, yeah, that is interesting. What? It's on the quiet day. That's enough of that. <laughs> God. In-game SM. Why do I still have the fly swatter?